Hey freshmen, my name is Emily Taguchi. I'm a junior right now and I'm first chair player in wind ensemble. I'm also gonna be drum major next year. So one of our CEO, I'll be doing drum major things. And I also was in percussion during marching season because as y'all probably know at this point, y'all aren't gonna play oboe during marching. So that's gonna be super fun. Like for real, like it's gonna be fun. It's fun learning a new instrument. But nonetheless, I just wanna go over the music with y'all, like how to rehearse it and how to break down the rhythms. And the way I'm gonna show you how to do it is the same way we would do it if it was a full band rehearsal. And then I'm also gonna play for y'all. I'm gonna play all of the variations. And the biggest reason for this is so you can hear how to, like you can see an example of how to breathe, where to breathe, how to like position yourself, how to form your armature, like where to put your air at and how to use vibrato that is, that sounds good, that sounds smooth. So it's a lot. Um, I'm gonna try to make everything short and sweet, but let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, hopefully your instrument is assembled and you've soaked your reed, which by the way, doesn't have to be with water. You can soak it in your mouth with your spit. And, oh crap, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, so, <laughs> okay, so now that you're assembled, Make sure you have a couple of the reads that you've been practicing on. Like at least just play a couple of Fs on them and make sure they're in tune. That way you're not stuck with a crappy read if your good read like gets chipped or something. Okay, this is a quick introduction to vibrato if you don't know anything about it. So to anyone who's told you to do vibrato with your jaw is kind of mean because one, it looks weird and two, it sounds really unnatural. to go out of tune like way easy so what the other way to do it is all from your stomach and the control of your airflow like how much you're how much like where are you intensifying your air at? so you'll literally it'll literally like be like this on the read though and your stomach will literally be flexing That's what it's going to be like. And you have to fill up with air in order to do that. Because if I'm running on a half tank, so like... <sighs> so you're going like, to fall out. So work out your vibrato because that's going to be super important in high school. And if you want to keep playing oboe. I'm going to play three concert Fs and then three B flats.
guys. So before we go to these next two variations, I just want to stress the importance of all of the articulation that's on here and making it very clear. Okay, I'm not perfect at it, but you can tell where I'm tonguing and where I'm not. So like for variation three, whenever you play, it should be transparent that it's ready. Da ta 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 and then the same for variation four ta 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 you get the point i kind of messed up right there by the way but um make sure that it is very clear where you're articulating thing before y'all guys head out so there's a couple of high d's and c's in the music and i just want to plant this seed to float to those notes anytime you have high notes above the staff you don't want to scream and stick out or not or miss the note because you don't have enough air to play it so i'm gonna play it two ways and i want you to notice how i'm stressing the note right before going up to the high note okay here's here let me do it with my air first so Yeah, it gets calm. <sighs> Think of it like that. Hopefully that's helpful.